how did you hear about us? Like, how did you come across my outdesk? Word of mouth. Um, one of our um, co-owners of Wolfpack Advising and one of the co-owners of Waypoint Property Inspection uh, attended a conference and a, another home inspection company was using my outdesk. Uh, they had one virtual assistant with their office. We're very like, I feel like uh, a lot of people um, don't necessarily understand it, are very hesitant. And yeah. we just said, you know what? We want to be that company that does something different. We want to be able to grow and expand. And, um, wow. you, you know, we can't scale in the way that we want to. Um, so it, it led us to, to making the jump. That's cool. You're going to be the first person that's ever used our virtual assistants that I know of as a side hustle and then built a <laughs> business. So that's kind of cool. Um, why, uh, why virtual assistants? Like, what is it about that taking that leap of faith that made you believe that caused you to decide to pull the trigger? Right. I mean, you're completely right on the aspect, the home inspection industry. I mean, the, the stereotype is that the older white guy with the clipboard, right? That's just totally. looking at the home, right? Totally. And it's kind of going on this shift to where now there's larger home inspection companies that are not just, you know, the, the guy who's retired. It's people are starting it as careers. So with that, I mean, you get, you get a lot of younger people coming in, especially like myself, who are looking to kind of make a difference, make an impact. And uh, one of that is scalability and growth of a home inspection company. And that's really never been done like nationwide. Um, mm. Home inspection companies have grown to other cities sometimes, but it's very difficult. Nobody has a proven process yet. So it's all about how do we create that proven process and then start replicating into other regions. I'm curious in your mind, as you're growing this thing and getting ready for a regional expansion, what are some of the challenges that you see you'll have to overcome to build a really big company? The biggest thing is with our specific industry, there's no proven process for marketing. Um, so with other industries, right, you can just say, yeah, I'm going to spend money on Google ads. Yeah, I'm going to spend money on search engine optimization. Yeah, I'm going to hire a sales staff and they're going to be, you know, the, the bulk of bringing in new customers. With the home inspection industry, it's a little bit different um, just because we have a mix as far as who we are kind of um, trying to court, you know. We're okay. trying to court the real estate agent to be like, well, we want your referrals, right? You, we want to say like, if you're going to give out three different home inspection companies, we want your, our home inspection company to be one of those recommended referrals. Right. But at the same time, are we trying to market to actual home buyers? Are, and those people are definitely a lot harder for us to get to. So it comes to a, a decision on how are we going to take a, um, some type of marketing strategy and really scale it up? Um, Cause it's really difficult to kind of get all these sales staff that kind of have to be hyper focused on courting the real estate agents, but then also trying to collect first time home buyers or just home buyers in general. Um, so that's kind of the, the the struggle. And you have some companies that are going one way, some companies that are going another way, and you have some companies that are doing a mix and they're using mods to scale it. Let's let's dive into the marketing space. How would you use a virtual assistant in in your marketing advisory company? the way that our virtual assistants kind of fit in is we have two different aspects. One is social media, right? And yep. our marketing of the agency itself. So they assist us with a lot of the marketing posts that we put on, on social media, or um, maybe designing some type of designs that we have. Of course, everyone's kind of familiar with Canva, right? Yep. The other aspect of it is we have a marketing automation system that we um, initiate for a lot of home inspection companies. So if anybody's heard of like systems like active campaign, send in blue, all of yep. these email systems, you can create marketing automation sequences um, and kind of and make your whole marketing system or strategy um, automated. automatic. Yeah, 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 you don't, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. So what they do is they basically help clients or help clients set these up for themselves, help manage them, and then tell them how they can optimize it. So for example, if you know you're sending out these postcards and you're getting this kind of return from it, or maybe your open rate is at this, well, we're seeing over in these types of campaigns, this is getting a really good open rate. So we'd recommend for you to start doing this to increase your open rate for your campaigns. Yep. And what do you think your return on investment is? I mean, each of our virtual assistant costs you about $21,000 a year. So, mm -hmm. and that's full-time benefits, vacation, healthcare, all of their, you know, cost. What do you believe you would have to pay to replace one of our virtual assistants if you were to hire local in your market? And then what do you believe your return on investment would be? 
So in local in my market, I'd probably have to pay double that cost. Um, so that for just one virtual assistant and then one person per year, you know, at least 42,000. Right. Okay. Um, but the actual return on investment, if you think about my eight hour day that I got back, um, what is my hourly rate? Well, with some, with my side hustle, say I charge like 65 or sometimes 125 an hour, right? Yep. I've made that money back for that one day. But then also think about the extra money I've made because now I'm able to, one, one perfect example is, uh, so the virtual assistant reaches out to top agents in our area to ask them if they want to come on the podcast. Beautiful. And because of that alone, because they can do that all the time, I'm able to reach out to so many other top agents and then start getting more business. Yeah. So to say an actual number on that, I mean, it would be so hard to tell just because it's so much growth now. That's a fantastic way to end a call. Don't you think, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just going to say, I, we, even with the side hustle, because we have the virtual assistant there. I mean, I would say just within the last three months, maybe a little bit more, we've made an extra, like say $50,000 because yeah. our, our team is able to grow the, the company in a more scalable way.